Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my project wax. I have all my candles set out here behind me and we're gonna go through them together. So I did get through a few empties on this side and I have a few new ones that I'm putting in and then of course I have the updates for you. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So this is my update for the month of April and I do already have three empties. So I will start with the first one behind me which is pistachio and toasted vanilla. I am so sad that this one is used up. It was absolutely amazing. And here is my progress lines from here to here and then finished. Um, it burned really well. I put it in the bedroom for the last couple of uh, uses and it was really nice. So that one I would definitely get again and I'm kind of sad I didn't get it back up. And then I also have in the stars. This one I'm also kind of sad that I finished. Here is the progress from here to here to here and then finished. Um, also another bedroom scent. This one was so amazing and body care like and just wonderful so if they bring this back out again i will definitely repurchase probably like two at a time so this one was absolutely amazing and the last empty i have is fresh coconut and cotton you can tell i was really getting through this sweater collection here um but this one i guess i updated it last time and it was pretty low already so this one didn't have much more life in it but was a really amazing scent and i have this in the body care still and i'm very happy that i have it and i might have to pick it up i know there's a single wick out now um, I might have to pick that one up too because I just really enjoyed this scent. Okay, now for updates. The first one I have an update on is Mahogany Apple. And this one was unused when I put it in last time. So we got, went from up here to here, about halfway. And I've been loving this one in the office, especially when Ryan's here. I think he must have not trimmed the wick last time he lit it. He doesn't really know to trim wicks. Maybe I should teach him. Um, but that's why there's like some black stuff on here. But still a wonderful scent and i've really been loving this one another one that i've been using a lot in the office is vanilla bean this one is really nice and like super simple the notes are madagascar vanilla homemade marshmallow and nutmeg just like a really really simple vanilla so we went from pretty much unused to down to here so i definitely am close to finishing it it's going to be done soon um, but i'm really really liking this one in the office it's just like a nice simple vanilla scent the last kind of office scent I've been using is Cinnamon Spice Vanilla in Paris Cafe, another one of my favorites. We went from here to here, and I'm not in a rush to finish, finish this one up because it's one of my favorites and I'm gonna be sad to see it go. But also, I have discovered that you can actually take a mini warmer from Scentsy and put it on a, what do they call it? A, a, you can get a stand for it basically, so it doesn't have to plug into the wall. So it can actually live on a shelf or on a like dresser or something. So I'm gonna put that in my um, office once I do buy one of those and start using my coffee wax melts there. So that way I don't have to finish this one. So we'll see if I get more progress on this one in the next month. Another one I have an update on is banana bundt cake. This one I actually have been really enjoying. I thought I hated it, but it's actually pretty nice. So here is my progress from here to here. I've been melting it primarily in the kitchen or burning it in the kitchen because it's a really nice, like it smells like you're baking banana bread. So it definitely smells like a kitchen scent and you can tell the wax has changed color a little bit. Now that might be my fault. I've actually been getting into a bad habit lately of forgetting my candles are on and leaving them on for like four plus hours. And that's really not what you should do. You should only have them on for like two to three maybe, at least for these um, Bath and Body Works ones. So yeah, I probably, that is user error. But there is some oils at the bottom of this one. You can see these little dots. This is actually the fragrance oils, which just means that this one's like a more juicy candle than others. So I don't know, it definitely will be finished up soon. But yeah, I definitely, um, made it smell a little sooty and I think that's my fault. So anyways, I've been really enjoying the scent though. It smells great. It doesn't smell like banana runts like it does on cold. It smells more like banana bread when you burn it. And then I also have an update on Goose Creek's uh, Goosebump Cupcake. This one is a, like a berry, I think it's a dark chocolate berry cupcake scent, but here's the uh, progress from here to here and then here. So not using this too much, I am although enjoying the scent. It's like a berry, it's a berry gourmand. It's really fun. Um, I definitely wanna keep working on this and try to finish it because I don't think I'll make it to <laughs> Halloween to save this one. So I'm just gonna keep working on it. It's like, a, it's still a nice spring scent because it's just like berry chocolate. So I'm liking it. 
Then I have mahogany teakwood, which I put in last time. This one I've gone from here to here. And this one I really only burn if Ryan is either gaming in the office or working in the office. So this one only gets burnt like once a week maybe. So yeah, we're still enjoying it though. I'm still having fun with it. Um, and I do have like a backup of this one. So I'm not worried about finishing it up, but that's this one. And then one that I put in last time that I actually haven't used is champagne toast. I forgot that I put it in the project to be honest with you. Um, so it's still unused, but I feel like I will pull this out once I finish one of my other kind of fruity gourmand candles, either the like banana bread or something. So I'm gonna keep it in and we'll just see what I use up. And to replace the two that I just finished, I'm gonna put in two brand new candles that I got. Um, I have been burning these a few times, like maybe twice, just to see if I can do a review on them and see what I like about them. So I'm gonna put them in the project because I've been enjoying them and I'm gonna keep burning them until I get like a solid opinion and then I will do a review. So the first one is PB&J ice cream. This one is such a cute uh, packaging label. I love the sprinkles, it's so adorable. So the notes are raspberry jelly, vanilla ice cream, and peanut butter sauce. This one's really fun. Um, I honestly don't get a lot of peanut butter when it's burning, but I'm gonna have to keep using this and see how I feel about it. This one actually I've been using in my bedroom and really liking, so I'm gonna keep doing it and I'm gonna definitely put out a review for you guys, but here is where it's at right now. So I definitely have used it a little bit, but not all the way. So we're just gonna put this in the project. So the next one I'm gonna put in is Santorini Coast. Can we just take a second for the packaging because this is so cute and summery and gorgeous with like the gold flecks on here. Ah, oh, so beautiful. And this is a white barn scent. The notes are creamy coconut, almond blossom, and warm vanilla. This one smells so good. It definitely reminds me of almond blossom in the candle because I did have that one when it came out a few years back uh, in the fall time. And it just like has a coconut mixed in with almond blossom. So it's really nice. I think I've melted or burned it like once or twice. So it's right here, but I'm gonna put this in because I have a feeling in April, it's gonna get pretty hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this out when it's like the hot days and I'm feeling like coconut beach vibes. So that is Santorini Coast and that's the last one that I'm putting into the project. So now I have nine candles in the project. Usually I have 10, but I think nine is good because I have a few that I haven't even used yet. So I think we're gonna be good with that. So I'm definitely gonna to try to finish off banana bun cake, vanilla bean, and I think Goosebumps Cupcake will be one of my um, focus ones for the month to try and finish those off. But anyways, that is everything for today's video. Um, just a quick update though, I am gonna be on no buy slash low buy for April. So I'm planning on not buying any body care candles um, for the month of April. So I'm really going to try and get through my candle collection because I know fall is just around the corner. No, don't shoot me for saying that, but fall is literally just around the corner because at Bath and Body Works, we start getting teases of fall in May and fall comes out in June. So I was like looking back at my old stories and I popped up a, um, Instagram stories highlight of a fall throwback on my Instagram. So if you're not following, you need to go follow it and go check out my old um, highlights. But I went and looked and they were teasing that like Chihuahua pocket back or the Chihuahua wallflower plug-in last year in June. So it's not far off. We're only a month away from Halloween teasers coming out from Bath & Body Works. So I'm getting ready, okay? I'm getting my collection in check and I'm using up as much as I can because I wanna be ready for fall and I'm so excited. I know they say to live in the moment, but I just can't help wanting to live in fall land all year round. Okay, so that's it about me talking about fall. You guys know I have to bring it up in every video, but anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below, what candles are you burning this time in spring? Are you on to some new candles? Like, let me know what new candles you bought and what you're burning. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.